here at South San Francisco with the Fruit Guys. Um, thank you for joining. We meet every other Thursday for a de-stress and stretch break. Um, so whether you are um, jumping in as part of the Fruit family from another facility across the country, or just joining as um, an advocate of health in the office, welcome. Um, we have a special guest. Our favorite fruit is going to be joining us today to help demonstrate some of our poses. Um, so we hope you enjoy. To begin, let's uh, take a seat in a cross-legged position. Um, we talked about this last class. We, within our yoga practice, um, we move through physical postures, but one of the um, most important um, components of our practice is the breath. And so we like to start our classes um, focusing and practicing our conscious inhales and exhales. So on that note, uh, let's all take a second to transition from our work day and onto our mats for um, our 30 seconds of uh, relaxation. So I want everyone to start by just releasing tension between and behind the eyes. Um, so go ahead and pull the earlobes away from the head and feel your jaw drop down. But yeah, see if you can feel the back of the eyes release there a bit. And then from there, take your pointer finger and your middle finger and apply some pressure right where the earlobe and the neck, the back of the earlobe and the neck, so it's like your skull and your neck meet. And you're gonna press gently, press in, and then slowly slide the pressure up behind the ear, and then back down. And then again, press you in, sliding up, and then back down. And then from there, let's take the uh, middle finger and just place it on the temples here. And the same idea, just gentle little massage, transition into our space, let your emails go, let your calls go, um, nice, now everyone keep the eyes closed and release the hands down to the knees or the thighs, Good. and we're going to come into our breath, so exhale out the breath, and then on an inhale through the nose, take a big breath of the spine, lengthen up, keep the length, exhale, open mouth, let it go. And again, inhale through your nose. Feel the lower back lengthen and the spine lift. And then exhale from the back of that throat, that rafty ocean breath. Good, one more big breath. Good, nice. We're going to move into our four, seven, eight breath that we worked on the last class together, but we're going to add the arms. So for those of you who are just um, joining for the first time, the count is we inhale on four. We hold for seven, and we exhale on eight. It's a really effective way to calm the nervous system, um, to, if you're feeling anxious or nervous, to slow the heart rate um, and energize the body naturally. So begin to reach out the fingertips. Hey, Spencer. Good, nice and tall. You're gonna empty out the breath, and then together we're gonna inhale for one, two, three, Four, hold the breath at the top for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Open mouth, exhale for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We inhale for one, two, get tall, three, four. Hold the breath for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Open mouth, exhale on eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one again. We inhale for one, two, get tall, three, four, hold the breath for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Open mouth, exhale for eight, get tall for seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. We inhale for one, two, three, four, hold the breath for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one foot up taller, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep your arms down, inhale, open mouth, exhale, and again, quick inhale, open mouth, exhale, good, and then just come back to that natural rhythm of your breath. Good work, you guys. From here, let's begin to reach out through our, uh, your left fingertips. We're gonna inhale, scoop that right arm out, up, and a slight side bend, up and over towards the left. Good. Now really think about lifting and lengthening through the left 
that side, be like, oh, so good, you guys. Keep that and soften the shoulders down your back so your neck's super long. Take a big, fruitful inhale. And then exhale, start up tall through center. <sighs> nice work. <laughs> inhale and center. Exhale, we're going to slide the right hand, your right hand away as you scoop that left arm up, 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 up. Side arc over towards your right. From here again, inhale, balloon that lung, big, full breath. Stay this time for your exhale, feel the navel pull in. Take another inhale, and then use your exhale, stack up the spine super tall. Good. It's like the top of the banana tip lifts up towards the ceiling. Good. From here, we're going to reach out through our fingers one more time, take a big inhale. Clasp the palms at the top and flip them to face the ceiling. From here, everyone, feel the traction between the fingers. Keep that sense of traction as you begin to bend your elbows wide. On our inhale, we're going to open through our heart and lift up through the lower belly. Feel the length through your lower back as you tuck the tail underneath you and begin to curl over your spine. Yeah, like a C-shaped spine, hollowing out the navel. Excellent. Inhale, stack up your spine, lift up, 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 big breath. And then exhale, curl the tail under, scoop the navel up, and feel the sternum move towards the back of the ribs. We're going to do two more. Find length as you lift. Big inhale, stack up, lift, and open. And then exhale, haul off the navel. Press the palms forward as the spine moves back. Good, last one. Inhale, stack up. Exhale, tuck the tail, lift the navel. Good, now everyone pause here. Continue to curl the tailbone underneath you and scoop out the belly button like it's an ice cream scoop. From here, begin to make some figure eights with those palms, really feeling that stretch in between the shoulder. Good. From side to side. And then together, let's reverse the figure eight. Like mind teaser. Good. Feeling any difference in that opposite direction. Pause and center, take a big breath. And then exhale, navel lifts up as you stack your spine. Open, lift, and then release those fingertips. Touch the ceiling and then reach out. Good, like a big five-pointed star. All the way down. So good. You can either stay sitting or roll forward onto your knees, coming into a kneeling position. Our banana man can stay ceiling. Our banana woman. Good. From here, we are going to reach our right arms up towards the ceiling. Extend the left leg up towards the left. And then reach your left arm out towards the left. Good. Take a big inhale. And then on your exhale, you're going to lift yourself up and over like you're painting a rainbow. Circle the arms down. Good. So you find this nice extended side stretch. Take a big inhale and reach out through your left fingertips. Stay here for your exhale. Feel the navel move in. Good. Take another big inhale. Strong exhale. Lift the center up and over. Good. Pull that left foot in. Reach your arms into a T, and then right leg reaches out. You're going to extend up through the right arm, take a big inhale, and then arc up and over, stretching towards the left. <laughs> High five, banana man. <laughs> Good. Inhale as you reach out through the waist, and then exhale, pull the navel in. Good. Another big breath, and then find your core, it's that apple core. Engage it as you lift yourself back up and over through center. Excellent. Go ahead and slide your right foot in and then release your hands down by your side. From this place, let's have everybody step your left foot forward and then walk your fingertips down onto the floor. Take an inhale and open through your chest, so pull the heart forward. And then exhale, begin to kick the tailbone back behind you as you straighten your left leg, peel your toes towards your shoulder. Now let your head just hang here as you continue to stick your tailbone back. Feel that stretch through the whole outside line of the left foot. Your inhale, you're going to re-bend the left knee, come forward, and then exhale, stick the tailbone back. Flexing your left foot, straighten your left leg. Good. We're going to do two more. Breathing with it. Inhale yourself forward, and then exhale, drop yourself back. Back for 
forward into this low lunge. From here, if you want to pat up the knee um, on your left or in your right knee to add a little cushion there, go for it with your yoga mat. Um, we're going to track our left knee in line with our left big toe. As we inhale, lift the shoulders up and over the hips, palms on your hips. Ta-da! Good. Now from here, you're going to imagine scissoring your back knee and your front heel together. So there's this sense of elevation, this nice lift. Good. Through your right hip flexor. You're going to keep that. Take a big breath. And then exhale, soften your shoulders down your back. Good. Everyone, reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. And then turn towards the left thigh as you lower your right hand down towards the floor. So you find a slight little spinal twist here. Good. Now you can stay in this twist and breathe for three full breaths. Or if you want to untuck your right toe, which is straighten your right leg, get it come into a deeper lunge here, twisted lunge. Keep lifting up and out of those left fingertips as you drop your hips towards the floor. Okay. Big breath. And then slowly drop your right knee back down. You're going to unravel the twist, release the left hand back down, and then take your hips back towards your right heel as you straighten your left leg one more time. Inhale yourself back forward, and then swing that left foot back to the right. Excellent. From here, we're going to reach our right arms forward, plant through the left hand, left hand underneath your left shoulder, and then extend your left leg back in space. Good. So strong. Now again, think about lengthening through your limbs, but then pulling the navel in so that core is strong and engaged. Good. These look awesome, you guys. See if you can soften your shoulder blades down your back a bit. Okay. Three more big breaths as you lengthen out from finger to toe. And then exhale, the lower belly lifts. Inhale as you lengthen. Exhale. One more big breath. And then lower your right hand down, your left knee down. Good. Take a big inhale, open through your collarbone. And then exhale, tuck the tail and push the floor away. Shake out your head. And then inhale back through center. We're going to pull our right foot forward. Hand up onto our fingertips. We find ourselves in our this low lunge again. Good. Take an inhale for length and then slowly straighten your right leg. Kick your hips back towards the left heel. And flex your right foot. So peel those towards, towards your shoulder. Good. Breathing into that whole right outside line. Your inhale ripples you forward. Bend that knee. And then your exhale kicks the hips back. Straighten your right leg. Good. Inhale yourself forward. And then exhale yourself back. <laughs> Good. Inhale yourself forward. And then exhale yourself back. Nice. Now take yourself back forward into your low lunge. You're going to um, track your right knee over your right toes. Take an inhale. And then exhale, stack the shoulders over your hips and drop into your lunge. Good. Again, thinking about you're zipping your left knee and your right heel together and up, so there's a sense of lift through your left hip flexor as the tail drops down towards the floor. Reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. And then rotate towards the right thigh as you drop your left hand down for your twist. <laughs> nice, banana! <laughs> you can stay here if you want to retuck your left toe, which is straighten that left leg, and then drop the hips down towards the floor. Nice. One more big inhale. And then exhale, release the left knee down, release the right hand back down. Take a breath and then swing your right leg back to your left. Reach your left arm forward, planting your right hand underneath your shoulder. Keeping the spine long and your pelvis level, you're going to lengthen your right leg back behind this face. So really reach from limb to limb here. Good. Now keep the gaze soft and your neck relaxed. And think about that sense of expansion from the front body to the back body, but then that sense of connection and strength through the lower abdominal muscles. So you inhale, really reach and stretch, and then exhale, engage the abdominals. Pull the ribs in. Three more.
more breaths. So good, you guys. Imagine you're balancing an apple on your tailbone, which we really should be doing. How fun would that be? <laughs> Next time. Good. And then slowly release the left hand, release the right knee. Good. Tuck the tailbone, or tuck the um, toes underneath you. Begin to press the front of the mat away. Take a big inhale, and then slowly lift your hips up and back in your down dog. Shake out your head, pedal out your feet. Good. Keep those knees nice and soft. Nice. And then keep the hips high, shift the gaze forward in between the hands, and walk your feet forward in your forward fold. Bend your knees. Take an inhale, we're going to send the tailbone back as we slide the palms up the shin for a flat back. And then exhale to fold. One more. Inhale, palms slide up the shin, flat back. Exhale, drape the spine over the thigh. From here, reach your arms wide like an airplane T. You're going to press through the heels and inhale, circle your arms all the way around and up. Exhale, palm the toe of the heart. Nice. And then shake that out. From here, walk the feet together. Walk your hips together. Um, We're going to reach the left arm up towards the ceiling and like the backstroke. You're just going to drape that shoulder down. Little shoulder over, and then the right side's gonna reach up. Good. Inhale, left side reaches up. Exhale, drape it down. Right side reaches up. Exhale, drape it down. From here, we're gonna bend our knees and tuck our tailbone. It's almost as if you're pulling your shirt up and over your head. Your uh, the knuckles are gonna come together. Take a big inhale and then root through your heels. You're gonna stretch, reach, circle those arms all the way down. Good. From here. Reach out through those fingers, palms face me. Take a big inhale, circling your arms around and up. Exhale, we're going to um, palm press together, pull them through the midline. Good. And again, inhale, circle out around and up. Exhale. One more. Inhale. This time as we exhale, we're going to bow, forward fold, hinging up the hips all the way down towards the floor. Bend your knees. Good. Now step your right leg back to the back of the mat. Track your, so everyone um, scoot your left foot forward slightly there. Yeah, nice. So that your knees directly over your toes. Now really charge out through your right heel. In micro bend your right knee slightly. We're going to take an inhale to prepare. And then on our exhale, we're going to lift ourselves up into a low lunge. Good, so all 10 toes face me. Send the knees slightly down towards the floor and tuck the tailbone towards the floor so that you can stretch through that right hip. Good. We're going to inhale, bend, and then exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend, exhale, straighten. Two more. Inhale, bend, exhale, straighten. Last one. Inhale, bend, exhale, straighten. Pause here and then drop your right heel down and away so that foot flattens. Coming into warrior two. Reach your arms wide. Good. Shoulders are nice and soft. Deep in the bend in your left knee, and you press your right thigh back, and then drop the hips down. Good. Now, just like our banana here, the spine's nice and long. <laughs> Equal length through both sides of the waist. <laughs> Good. Super strong and rooted through the legs, through the foundation, but then elevated and lifted all the way out through the crown of your head. Good. Take one more inhale. And then exhale, slowly straighten your left leg. Pop that right foot in slightly. We're going to come into our triangle pose. So shift the, shift the gaze back towards the back of the room. And imagine like someone's pulling you back, but then your front arm reaching forward. Good. Over that left thigh. Take a big inhale. And then lower the fingertips down. Right arm reaches up. Inhale here, shift the gaze down towards the floor, and then cartwheel the hands down. Good. Spin all ten toes to face the front of the room, and then walk your left hand on the outside of the left foot. Inhale, and then exhale, lower the back knee. Just FYI, you're not being. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. It's okay. Um, and then swing your left leg back. 
Take an inhale, plant through your palms one more time. Retuck your toes. Inhale, and then exhale, pull those hips up and back by your down dog. <laughs> From here, shift the gaze forward in between your hands, and then again, you're going to walk the feet forward into your forward fold. Inhale, slide the palms up the shin, find a flat back, and then exhale to fold. Root to your heels, inhale, circle the arms all the way around and up, and then exhale, palms in front of your head. Nice. Release the hands, inhale, exhale, swan dive down, fold over your thighs. Bend your knees, plant the palms. This time you're going to step your, um, gosh, your left leg back. Thank you. <laughs> Scoot your right foot forward, tracking your right knee in line with your right big toe. And then really charge out of that left heel. So your back leg is strong and active. Nice. Keep that um, reach through the heel as you micro bend your left knee. Take an inhale and then exhale. Float the shoulders up and over the hips. Find your lunge. Good. <sighs> Excellent. Everyone, roll the weight into the front heel so you can wiggle those toes. And then keep the toes nice and light and charge through your back heel. Tuck the tail up underneath you and drop your knee towards the floor. And then slowly straighten. Drop the knee down. Straighten. Two more. Drop the knee down. And then last one. Straighten. Good. Now keep that leg straight. You're going to spin that back heel 45 degrees so the foot can be flat. And then open your arms wide into your warrior two. Deepening the bend in your right knee. Shoulders are super soft. Press through your back foot and lengthen through your fingertips. Good. Nice. Think about, again, tracking that right knee in line with your right big toe as you press through the outside line of your back foot. Open up your front knee and press your back thigh back as the tailbone drops down. Good. And again, both sides of the banana. Nice and long and lifted as the shoulders straight down your back. Slowly straighten your front leg, tractioning your heel away from you, and then step that back foot in slightly so you shorten your stance. Reach out through your back fingertips, kick your hips behind you, and slide your right rib over the right thigh, keeping length through your waist. Inhale and then exhale as you drop your bottom hand towards your ankle or your shin, moving into triangle pose. Reach up and out through those left fingertips. Feel the collarbone open as the front ribs connect. Good. One more big inhale. And then shift the gaze down towards your toes, down towards the floor. Rebend that right knee and circle the arms back down. Good. All ten toes face the front of the room. Throw your hips off. Excellent. Take a big breath. And then on your exhale, Go ahead and let's um let's step our left foot forward to meet our right and fold. Lift your head hang. From here, micro bend your knees and clasp the hands behind your back. Take an inhale as you open through your collarbone and then exhale. Allow the spine to drape over the thighs. Let your head hang and the arms reach up and overhead. One more big inhale. And then release the arms back down by your side. Inhale, slide the palms up the shin, find a flat back. Exhale to fold. Reach your arms wide like an airplane, take a big breath, and then circle around all the way up, pop the hands up heart. Awesome. Let's see how we're doing on time here. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> have five more minutes. So let's finish with some floor work. So, um, you want to finish with that? Let's do that. We have a request from the crowd. <laughs> okay, reach the arms around and up. Grab your left wrist with your right hand. Inhale for length. And then exhale, slide side bend up and over towards your right. Inhale. Enable the spine. Exhale. Grab the right wrist with your left hand. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, tipping over towards the left. Take a big inhale. Exhale, back through center. Good. Now from here, let's... Um, Place the palms together, and then lower them down in front of your sternum. Root through your right foot. You're going to lift that left knee up, and then open it out towards the left, either resting it on the ankle, on the calf, or if you want to move it all the way up towards the inner thigh, we'll 
call this the banana tree pose. <laughs> and then feel the left knee open out towards the left. Again, tucking the tail and lifting through the lower belly. Good. Awesome. Stay here if you want to reach that out. Yeah. Banana branches. <laughs> Big breath. Exhale. Feel those shoulders soften. And then palms come back together. Pull them back in front of the heart. Left knee comes back parallel and then drop it back down. Shifting the weight into your left heel. You're going to open that right knee up towards the right, placing the inside of the right foot down your ankle, your calf, or all the way up through your inner thigh. And then you can be here in your banana tree if you want to grow your limbs. <laughs> you stand. <laughs> I need to play some ornaments for the like monkeys. <laughs> I'm going to bring fruit first next time so you can balance with our fruit. <laughs> Good. Big inhale. Use your exhale. Feel the ribs connect. Feel the lower back lengthen. Good. One more big breath. And then pull those palms back through center. Pull that right knee back into parallel and then drop it down. Good. From here, let's cross our feet and then take a seat. For one more stretch, let's do, um, let's finish with spinal, a spinal twist. Is that good? Okay, cool. So um, reach your left leg forward, and then put the right foot on the inside of that left thigh. So nice and on your sitting bones. Left arm's going to come up towards the ceiling. Inhale. On your exhale, rotate towards the right thigh, and then release the right fingertips behind you as you lift up, and then exhale, left elbow on outside of right knee. So banana, you can even turn towards the chair, um, <laughs> you, can <t> you can turn towards the, um, the arm of the chair. Yeah, give yourself a little traction there. Yeah. Inhale, stack up nice and tall. Exhale, deepen your twist. Wrap the ribs around towards the right thigh. On your next inhale, you're going to straighten the left arm up towards the ceiling, and then cartwheel the arms up and around for a counter twist. Come back through center, slide the left foot in towards your tailbone, reach your right leg long, flex that right foot. Nice. Back up the spine nice and tall. Inhale, your right arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, rotate towards the left thigh, and then tense up on the left fingertips behind you. So you have a little lift and traction. You're going to inhale, lift up. Exhale, deepen the twist from the belly button, and then release the right elbow on the outside of the left knee. Good job, you guys. Everyone brighten your right foot, so make that foot, yeah, liven it up. Take an inhale, find more lift through the spine, exhale, deepen the twist. Inhale, that right arm up towards the ceiling, and then cartwheel your arms up and around, try and stretch. Come back through center, slide your right foot underneath the left, bottoms of the feet together, knees open wide. Oh, I'll finish with a butterfly stretch. Go ahead and let those knees open. Feel your hips nice and open. Take a big inhale, open through your heart, and then hinge forward any amount as you exhale. <laughs> One more big breath. And then stack up nice and tall. Good. Let's go ahead and cross our shins, palms out our chest. Just take a moment here feeling any uh, or observing any differences that we may feel from the start of class to the end of class. And thanking yourself for this half an hour, this little gift of time. Oh, good. Reduce stress and tune in to your breath and listen to yourself so that you can make better decisions throughout your day. Will you guys be focused and poised? And have a wonderful rest of the work day. For practicing. Namaste. And to all of our other fruit facilities out there, thank you for joining um, our little fruit yogis, our crogies. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Yay. Oh, thank you. <laughs>